Dang, oh, Jesus I, ooh, I, 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 boy hit that nigga with the HR gram 64 bombs. And they trying to get him off. Oh my play. god. Away, nigga. Gender equality? Total beatdowns in anime history. Damn, what, what the fuck was that? Nezuko's on demon timing, the most disrespectful moments in anime history. Three, let's check it. So then he throws a punch where bro ends up stopping his punch with a lunchbox. And what straight the hell? up just cheap shots. But everybody like, hey, 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 my boy, you shouldn't have done that shit. And, and yeah, my guy ain't even gonna lie. He, he should have not done that shit. So then bro just started blasting. What the hell does this have to do with Nezuko? Are you dumb? Boy hit that with the HR gram 64 bombs. What the hell? That had nothing to do with Nezuko. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm lost. I'm distraught. Make you like the video right now because I know you're gonna enjoy it. Like it right now, please and thank you. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time to return to a series that we have not been to in Jesus Christ four goddamn months. Baki? Young niggas probably like <laughs> he forgot about that. Sh dude. Oh wait, he's talking about who? <laughs> like, he's talking about the most disrespectful moments. <laughs> Information, yeah. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all, my boy. I forgot about that. Sh oh, brother, this guy stinks. Hey, hey, but listen, listen. It's finally time to return to the most disrespectful moments in anime history. The series that we will observe some of the most outlandish, outrageous, most uh -huh. brutal beatdowns in anime history. Damn, Just what the fuck was that? What show was that? Outrageous, most brutal beatdown. What the? In what show was doing this? But ladies and gentlemen. Sit back and relax. Grab some popcorn. As I tell you about our sponsor today, Monster Legends. Monster oh my god. Oh my god, Monster Legends. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh Monster Legends. Niggas be wildin'. Bitch. All right, ladies and gentlemen. First up to the plate is actually a moment that came out pretty recently. And that is Nezuko stomping out Daki. Now, as we can see, Tanjiro's fighting Daki right now. And he's about to cut the bitch head off. Uh -huh. But Burl ended up choking because the nigga forgot to breathe. So while he's doing his greatest <laughs> That's why. I can never forget to breathe, bro. I, can, I be breathing in on my asshole, bro. Huh? I never forget. Previous impression, trying to get his breath back. Nezuko comes from behind and kicks the dog Damn. shit out the bitch. Oh my god. Damn. Made the whole world like a bowling ball. And look at her. She angry as hell, biting the hell out of that damn bamboo retainer, whatever the hell that is. All that damn slobba coming out of yeah, damn no, mouth. Yeah, that's disgusting. Bro, she kicked Nezuko. half of her. Yeah. Slobba coming out of damn mouth. Like, bro. Yeah. What the fuck? Why she look like, why she built like that? <laughs> why? Why is she built so right? I am a horny. Do you not see the voluptuous bags of meat on her? On, on what the fuck? First, she kicked half of her head off. So they start boxing. By the way, I haven't seen Demon Slayer season two or the fucking movie. Daki gives her the chop and just slings her like three houses down. She's thirteen. Why is she built like that? by this rubble, and she is still angry as. Sh so while Daki's monologuing and talking shit, Nezuko gets up from that and regrows literally all of her limbs. Okay. So then she takes a whole bite out of the damn bamboo stick. And d Jesus Christ, look at this absolute menace. Nigga, she got veins in her- Why are they doing this to Nezuko? What the fuck? Oh, Nezuko's aged up? How old is Nezuko now? So she's old enough to get her breast shown. <laughs> they aged her up to where she can get her breast shown. She's an adult? She's an adult? Nezuko took two years. <laughs> her age is 14. Her forehead. And look at Daki. She like, what the f What type of crack did this just snort? So then Nezuko <laughs> blitzes her ass. Oh, oh my oh. god. <laughs> Straight up stepped on her. <laughs> they knew. They knew she adding breasts would get more views. Nigga, ho, ho. Foot is in her back. Damn. And look at her staring at Oh my shit. god. Her back ain't been blown out like this before, has it? Oh my! Lift up her foot and straight up breaks her ah! arm in half. Oh my goodness! She is smiling. Yo, she is a menace. She is kicking the licking oh shit god. out of this. Yeah. Stepping on her ass harder than a thump. Oh my god, bro, her head is bouncing off the oh ground. Oh my goodness! Daki loses, so she just she low key look like she get her back blown. Hold up! Slices up her entire body. Bro, her blood is literally holding her together right now. And, and then she just started burning her ass. So then she reattaches her head, jumps up to high heaven, and just oh my god, her face into the ground. 
So then she just starts stomping her out again. Oh my god. I see why Nezuko is on that most popular character list now because she starts showing some breasts and now she's kicking ass. It's crazy. At this point, this fight is over. Just let the bitch quit. But Nezuko was like, nah, nigga, I ain't done yet. So then she gets her up, climbs her up for the kicking. Oh my goodness. But no, nah, no, nah, we didn't think he'd get even worse for Doki, right? Huh? But it did. So while Tanjiro's trying to calm Nezuko down, Doki's trying to get back up and trying to land a hit on her. Tengen comes in and stops the whole attack. So while he's talking Who's to this? Tanjiro, Doki's like, ooh, a Hashira, you came to fight, nigga? And he's like, shut your ass up. I ain't got time for your weak ass. So Damn. She starts talking, and then her whole head just falls off. In just a split of a second, this man stopped her whole attack and straight up decapitated the- You can tell he's not a main character. A main character would not would not cause damage that fast. Um, that's not a main character move. A main character lets you talk, y'all have a little combo back and forth, and then y'all box it out. A main character would never do that. Ending a fight like that? Ridiculous. Complaining about why she's an upper six. And thinking like, uh, so why is your literal head in your fucking hands right now, you sorry ass bitch? And then she started crying. <laughs> hey, yo, this girl was talking what all this like, like 10 minutes ago, and now she's crying her ass off. Hey, but you know what? Watching this ass whooping taught us all a lesson, though. What is it? Never judge a book by its cover. Because that one quiet nigga in the class could have some hands and some black forces in his backpack. <laughs> or a fucking strap. I'm not worried about him having hands or black forces. I'm worried about that AR he might be pulling out in his backpack, bro. That's what I'm worried about. Timothy in the back hasn't said a word for the last three weeks of class. I've been hearing him recite in the back of the class. I don't got a pencil or pen in his book bag. I gotta attend to the clip because it looked like, bro. Someone search him. All right, next up on the list today is one of the most classic beatdowns of all time, and that is the Tenjo Tenge Lunchroom Agni Kai. Tenge, so while whoa. Masataka and Bob are having lunch, Nagi comes in and he wants to smoke, and he's trying to run the hands with Masataka, and keep in mind, bruh, Nagi's only been at this school for two f***ing days, and he already trying to run somebody's fate on the second day of school. So he throws a punch, but bro stops it with a chopstick. Then he mm -hmm. gut checks homie and sends him flying. So everybody clears out the lunchroom because... They're about to throw down. They're about to have a straight Agni Kai. So Taki and Nagi's ready to humble his ass. He like, bro, it's only your second day and you're already starting shit. So then he says, all right, bro, since you were first here, I'll give you a handicap. All you got to do is land one hit. So Nagi runs in and gets kicked in the Oh, temple. my goodness. And then bro just started oh, ah, ooh, some Chun-Li e, type ah, shit. E, Nigga e, hit ooh, him with ooh, the ah, 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 ah. I'm sound off. like a he fucking... Punch yet. <laughs> Look at Bob, bro. He like, damn. My nigga getting his ass <laughs> So then somehow Soichiro gets up from that shit. So bro comes in flying with another kick. Oh, yeah. Bro ducks under a Steve Fox type shit. And he throws a punch, but he grabs the punch midair and hits a whole spin on Okay, that's just some bullshit. And bro is out cold. It's that's old. bullshit at that point. Wakes him up and she's like, nigga, you really gonna get your ass? Why are her boobs so far apart? Oh my god, one lives on the east coast, one lives on the west. Swooped in front of all these n****. You sorry as hell with that fake ass Super Saiyan cut you got going on, my boy. So Taki and Nagi is pissed off right now. This man is ready to beat this nigga to a pulp. Nigga like, this is the first day I wanted to whoop his ass so bad. So then he throws a punch, but bro ends up stopping his punch with a lunchbox. What? And straight I, up just what? So shots. <laughs> Everybody like, hey, 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 my boy, you shouldn't have done that shit. Yeah, my nigga, I ain't even gonna lie. He he should have not. That is funny though. So then, bro just started blasting. Dang, oh, I, ooh, I, 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 boy hit that nigga with the HR gram 64 bombs. And they trying to get him. Oh my god. Away, nigga. Gender equality? Dog literally dug his own grave. So then he picks up his lifeless body and gut checks. Oh my god. Oh my. Bro. That nigga's breakfast is gone. Just look. He punched him one time, and he throwing a temper tantrum. You can't trust niggas like this. He got hit once. And he got a He's the type of nigga to get his ass beat and come back with a gun. That's who he is. Like this bro didn't awaken the demon. So then he throws a kill shot and it's over. The, the screen just cuts to black. That, that nigga's dead. So later on, we cut to him sitting on top of this roof and look at him. He like, damn. I really got my ass whooped on the second day of school. And the thing is, he picked the fight and it was in front of his girl too. Hey, yo, bro. Nah, bro, that's it. That's disrespectful shit. 
Alright, next up on the list is Adam smoking Ricky's pack. So Ricky who? challenges Adam, who is basically a love child between Dio and Hisoka, and the kid looked up to Tony Hawk. Oh, saying he so he really touching children. <laughs> if he a mix up Dio and Hisoka, he really he really likes kids. Man does one of the most absolutely disrespectful things you could ever do to anybody. So the race what starts. Is this? So Ricky takes off, but Adam. One of the most disrespectful moments is a skating anime. Interesting. I need to give it a shot. I do. I've heard only good things about it. I. I and no, I have really haven't. It's still standing there. And then this nigga pulls out a whole pack of black and malls and starts smoking that shit. Damn. Ain't no fucking way, dog. And this nigga just straight monologues for about two minutes, talking about how good his black and malls are. So after he's done with his smoke break, he picks up his board and just starts Naruto running. What the fuck? Is that not cheating? Second, and he is gone. And within five seconds, he's already on his ass. He runs a 4 2 40? I hope you like that two minute head start I gave your ass. And this just still got the black and mild in his hand, bruh. Grabs onto him and just starts dancing on the. He wants to play with his tip. That's gay. He wants to go tip the tip. Like, nigga, what the f is happening right now? Like, you can't convince me otherwise. down and just holds him an inch away from the ground. It look what at him, the like, Don't fuck? close your eyes, little nigga. You should save for this shit. So then Ricky what the hell the is wrong with him? Grind. So Adam, like, hmm, okay, I'll f with you, my boy. So he throws down the cigarette and hits this nasty man. ass Casper. So like, God damn, my boy. So then this nigga does this pose and hits this called the Lost <laughs> Hug and he is what skating uphill. This nigga said, the laws of physics, my boy. So then Ricky just went flying. Bro just ended up rolling. Down I'm so down confused. Like yards. Jesus Christ, back on skate three, that is a fat ass going haul of meat. Hey, but no, 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 no. This man wasn't even done yet, bro. Because while I'm talking about this anime, I gotta add one more thing that he did. So yeah. They're having this tournament, and Adam is racing Cherry right now, and Cherry is actually beating him right now because I ain't even gonna lie, bro. His board is like actual cheats. It's so cheat. Okay. Pulls in front of him, and Show then this nigga moves. just starts tap dancing on his damn. Board. <laughs> Says, no, that, that look like me though. <laughs> yeah, that just look like me. Cause back in the day, I when I used to skate, bro, I I would go crazy on the board. Too cocky, nigga. But Adam's like, nah, don't be too optimistic, motherfucker. So then he gets off his board, runs up Adam, and slaps the nigga with the board. What's that? Get out of my face with Is that not illegal? Is that not illegal? Ass board, nigga. Hit his ass so hard to replay three different times. And then while he's on the is that not illegal? Talking shit to him, and he says, "Yeah, the reason I never responded to your beefs is because, yeah, nigga, you born as shit." <laughs> bro, pack it up, bro. This man is a menace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to our final moment. So okay. I decided I might as well save this one for last. Got to make it quick, though, before these niggas get on my ass. And that is Mihawk pulling a butter knife on Zoro. So we all know Zoro's dream. He wants to be the greatest swordsman of all time. Yeah. But to do that, he's going to have to get past this nigga. I mean, look how bro pulled up looking like a dripped out vampire slayer. And look at him, how pitiful. Sexy sweet. ass man. Nigga, you weak as hell and you sorry as hell. But you know what? I'll give you a handicap. I'll pull out a fucking butter knife. <laughs> And look at dude, I'm no Why does he have one on stack with him? Because that's not no butter knife, bro. That is so deadly. Look at that thing. Goes all out when hunting a rabbit. So unfortunately, this is the smallest shit I got. Damn. Oh, pack it up, my nigga. Like, dog, back in the day during East Blue, this was the craziest shit. This man got three stores and it got stopped by a butter knife. Zoro's like, what the f Oh, nigga, I'm out of my league. And just look at him. Pretty. Oh, he stopped it with the tip? With the tip? I don't remember the scene. I watch all the One Piece, but of course I don't remember the scene. That's too many episodes to remember to everything. Prairie, prairie, prairie all fucking day. So then Zoro jumps up, but then he just gets snapped. Mm. With a butter knife in it, sent through shockwaves. So then he like, state your name, nigga. Rep your set. As courtesy of surviving so long, I'll actually pull out my real sword. Oh and god, and I know, I know Zoro went crazy when he saw this black piece of shit. I know he went crazy. I know Zoro was the first thing is. Are you pulled out a near? <laughs> <laughs> a near blade. <laughs> we have our stereotypical enemy sword clash. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, but we knew Zora was taking that L. Even with do rag, bro. Hey, but even though this is disrespectful as sh it made our boy who he is today. Cause this man no doubt of oh. this. Well, yeah, that was the most disrespectful moments in anime history three. I'm definitely having to go with I think Nezuko's was definitely most disrespectful. Nezuko's was definitely the most disrespectful. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think it's even